I wanted to share this powerful message. I'm sorry I haven't been sharing it recently. Matthew 9, verse 23. I'm at Matthew 8, 23. He got in the boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came at the sea. So the boat was being swamped by the waves, and but he was asleep, meaning Jesus. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified? Oh, of little faith. Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this? Whom even the winds and the sea obey. So, I mean, even Jesus' followers, his closest friends, were amazed. They were in awe of God and of his power. Even when you think you know God, he still has a lot more power to show you. And my other lesson is you may be living in a storm. You may be living where you're losing faith, where you're battling addictions, or the same sin over and over. You may be doing that, and you may be struggling with it. You may be losing faith. We all have a point in our faith where we lose faith or we struggle with addictions. Let me just remind you, you may be living in a storm, but God is so powerful. He can rebuke that storm in a snap of the fingers. That's how powerful he is. The winds and the sea obey at his voice because he controls them. He can calm your storm you just have to reach out and ask for it the rapture is coming soon you don't have much time to get right with god do it soon because it could be happening any day now god bless you god bless america